Hello, everyone, and welcome to this webinar. This is part two of the astrology of Shreem Brzee. Last segment, we covered some topics in general of what are the wealth power times that help us tap into the mantra of Shreem Brzee and wealth in general on how we can use that time, that window of time, to help benefit us in the most efficient way. So when we have our actions during a particular window of time called a power time, then those actions are more effective. And Dr. Pillai is very much into power times as well as making sure we use our time wisely and that we have uh, the time equals money equation really down pat so that we can become more prosperous. And of course, the more prosperous we become, the more freedom we have and the more we're able to give away to others and help help other people. And that's a lot of, I know that's a lot of um, the people of our, their, our viewers' uh, uh, inspiration. So today, again, I have Mike Malloy, Raja, who has been studying with Dr. Pillai for about 17 years and has been an astrologer for uh, many of those, if not before that. And today we are going to discuss the three stars that help to create and give access to wealth blessings. So many of you are already asking, what is a star? So we're going to cover that and then we're going, going to go into those three stars and the qualities that embody them, as well as how to find out when they happen so that we can put this into practice. And then at the end, we'll take some questions. So we'll be here together for about a half an hour. So thank you so much. Uh, Mike, Raja, for joining us today. So let's get started with the first question that's on everyone's mind is, what is a star? So if you can briefly end in layperson's terms of how to relate to this, what is a star? Well, uh, star is, uh, and nakshatra means uh, star map. So when you, and the specific stars we're talking about are the stars that make up the, uh, the, ecliptic um, constellation. So there's, um, over time, there's, uh, we've settled into 27 uh, mm -hmm. sections of sky. And so the stars make up constellation of 27. So the 12 Rossi's actually have two and uh, three quarter uh, nakshatras in them. So it's not just one star, there's a group of stars. So in so, a, in a, so people don't know what Rossi's or nakshatras are. Okay, so, uh, so a Rossi, so we're backing up. So we take the ecliptic and that's where the planets uh, rotate around the sun. Okay. And as you rotate around the sun, it draws a circle up in the sky. And at night, you can see the ecliptic. It's not the whole night sky. It's just actually 19 degrees from uh, where, where the sun, if the sun was there at night, goes through the middle, it's eight degrees above, eight, um, uh, let's say eight, eight, no, it's uh, nine degrees above, nine degrees below. And that's the ecliptic. And that's the stars kind of make this uh, wave, you know, they, they, that's, that's their path. At the planets make that path in the, in the sky. And there are stars behind that. And those stars say, stay the same. And in, in India, they've divided it into 27 sections. Mm -hmm. So it gives you more granularity. So when you're born and you say, oh, I'm an Aries or, you know, um, I, or my moon is an Aries, it's actually, there's, you know, it's going to, it's going to be in one of three not chapters, each, each sign, each house or each of uh, the 12, this is the, uh, um, when we talk about the uh, Rasis, which are the 12 signs, Aries through Pisces, they, they're actually made up of two and three quarters. Nakshatra, so there is some of them split. And the nakshatra is a star. So it just to... is a star or a group of stars. Okay, so let's yeah. tell everyone to back up. So there's in Vedic astrology, there's 27 of what we're referring to as stars just for simplicity terms, but their technical term is nakshatra or birth star is often what you may hear, especially coming from Plyson or Astrovet in terms of um, an easier terminology to reference. And Raja is letting us know um, what those are. And, and the birth star references where what sign your moon was born when you were born, where was the moon? What stars was the, your moon connected to? A 
aligned with. Okay, so that's how someone finds out or knows yeah. what their star is, is where the moon is mm -hmm. in the transit through those 27 stars. Yes, and then right. with that, and that nakshatra then, when you read it, you will recognize yourself because it, the moon is what makes up your mind, what you, what you like to think about. And it shows you what your strengths are and where, where growth can happen to you. Mm -hmm. So now it's not just your moon though, your, your, you know, your ascendant when you were born, what was on the Eastern horizon, that was also pointing to the nakshatra. Mm -hmm. All of your planets reside in different nakshatras. So mm -hmm. that, that gives a different flavor to how the planets, how the moon, how your chart operates. So right. that's, uh, so the, I, I, I look at the nakshatras more than almost more than the sign because it gives you more like mm -hmm. how yeah it's it's in a sign so it's just there automatically but the next chapter gives you more granularity and gives you more um refinement of what what energies are work you're working with and what needs can be strengthened and what needs to be fixed right and dr pillai has said that um if you know someone's nakshatra or birth star you can learn a lot about them and so, um, and so today, so thank you for that very quick <laughs> background on what a nakshatra is or, or star. Um, today we are going to talk about the three stars that embody, or the three prominent stars that embody more of the wealth blessings and in particular ones in which we should use and access to chant Shreem Brzee and do the Shreem Brzee meditation. So can you, and I love that you let us into like the qualities that each star has this quality that in each one of us who, you know, when we identify our birth star or our nakshatra, we get to identify with um, the qualities behind that. I know it's very true for mine when I read, when I read the kind of the pros and the cons of it um, and the, you know, the benefits and the drawbacks or the challenges, it's very true for me. So um, we're going to get to know these three stars. So let's, uh, get started with those first tell us what they are and then we'll go into one of each of them okay the three stars the first the first one i i, I start everything from aries so the first star in and it's in aries is barney barney b-h-a-r-i-n-i -I. Uh, and that's a very powerful nakshatra it's a fire sign and the three signs that are and um, we're going by this um, the three uh, nakshatras that are ruled by venus and because mm -hmm. the overlord of Venus is Lakshmi. Mm -hmm. So there's an access to goddess Lakshmi through these nakshatras. So every, so there's two ways. So whenever the moon goes into Varani, you know you can access goddess Lakshmi. The other one is uh, Purva uh, Falguni, and that's in Leo. That's the next fire sign. So mm -hmm. it's Aries, Leo, and then the, after Leo, the third fire sign is Sagittarius, and that's Purva Shada. So just uh, so those, so you know that that's there, they're ruled by it. And it is interesting, the goddess energy is, color is red. Mm. And so these are fire signs, so they access, so you can, so uh, you, so Lakshmi as beautiful and she brings in all this love and uh, grace and um, abundance in your life, but it also comes with fire. So you <laughs> want to bring in this and it's a very, and these are very, uh, uh, Barani, Purva Falguni, and uh, Purva Ashada are very powerful nakshatras. They're very driven, they're very pointed, they're very focused. And so, um, and anybody who has this, their moon in there, they are, they are people you notice. They have a lot of influence. So, uh, so don't think of the goddess as being a pushover. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so you want to so yes you want to access goddess lakshmi during uh when the moon is in those nakshatras pay attention to where the moon is every day it's strange i i watch it but it's like every day i have to several times a day like oh what nakshatra is it so i, I go to it and, it and you look at it but also whenever venus is ruling that aura you want to check in on that so that's a uh, that's an interesting that's a powerful time to just chant. So mm -hmm. also just a little is we are now right in with it's uh, Skanda Shasti. So mm -hmm. as you're paying attention, as you're looking and you want to chant um, Shreem Grizzly, if it's Mars Hora, 
chant the mantra for Maruga. Mm -hmm. this, this, this will connect you to this deity. The deities, what you want to do with these deities as you're connecting to them, what is the purpose? It's not just you want to make a heart connection. Mm -hmm. And the heart connection, as you go to them, you, you just want to say, come, come into my life because they know the past path. They can change your life so fast. And they literally will appear before you. They are, they are, it, it's not, it's not a psychological concept. So it's not a, you know, it's like, oh, you, you think this and you get higher thoughts. They come in and it changes your thoughts. Mm -hmm. And so you can actually elevate your, you know, on a DNA level when they come in, they are powerful. You, yeah. I mean, it, I mean, you've had the experience. You yeah. just have a moment, they come in and your whole body starts to vibrate. <laughs> So the reason we do our practice, the reason we meditate, the reason we clean up is we actually want to prepare our nervous system for them to come in so, mm. that we, so we can be with them for a while. Right. Otherwise, right. you know, they just come in for a moment and said, oh, you're, you're done. Bye bye. <laughs> clean the space up. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's fantastic. OK, so um, to back up for uh, a moment, folks, we know that there's the three stars. They're ruled by uh, Venus. So we're going to talk about each one of them, right? So I will also at the end of this tell you how to find them. So don't worry about that just yet. We're going to first find out a little bit more about these stars. So Barney, the first one that you mentioned, let's talk about that. What are the qualities of Barney? How do we connect with Barney? When we know what it is, what do we do during that time period? Okay. Now Barney is an extreme nakshatra. She's hot and cold, not hot or cold. She's not a balanced nakshatra, kind of cold. The um, overlord for Barney is Yama, the god of death. And uh, the symbol is actually the yoni. So it's actually about life and death, birthing and death. It's about transition. Anybody who has Barney uh, aspecting their personal planets, the moon or any of their, like maybe Lagna or could be their Lagna, has extremes in their life. They transition, they know how to carry things. So they're very strong in carrying. So once you have your purpose, you can carry it to, to the end. So you can take on um, major, uh, major projects and, make, and carry them forth. Or just literally transitioning some, someone from one form of existence to another form. Mm -hmm. so there's an ending. And so, for folks who don't know, Yoni is the terminology for a female uh, sex, or, sex organs. So this is a very, people don't know that, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is, that. Yeah. This so is a powerful place a powerful. and it is also very transitional. <laughs> it is, yeah, and it is the, and it is the, it is the goddess. Mm -hmm. it is, and there is a, and there is a power there of bringing something unmanifest into manifesting. Right. So it is the symbol of manifestation. Right. But it's not just a symbol, it's actually happening. So there's a lot of, uh, a lot of mystery and uh, very, it's a very powerful force. And so what we're doing is we're tapping into that energy. It's like, um, it's beyond anybody how to make a baby. It's, I mean, to take a, take this microscopic, you know, see, and then create a, uh, you know, a, a human form out of it or any life form is just, it's tremendous the trillions of things that have to happen at the right time that's all contained in the in the yoni right yeah so and that's the power of this this uh yeah. star and so and and lakshmi oversees that and there is a and venus has the energy of life that's also so that is the mystery of uh, of life comes in through this uh, mm. form and the strength to to protect it as well and to, so there's a lot that goes into it. So your manifestations need protection. They need, and, you know, we, we, bring, we bring our focus. So what we do, how you use it, is you have a manifestation. What you have is, um, where many people do this naturally, is they sit and they kind of think about what they want. And what, what I mean by think is they start to, to dream it. They're not thinking about how to make it happen. They just, what they want in their life. And they start to, visualize it, taste it, see it, and just really mm -hmm. want it. I must, must have it. And then you will start to, then 
it will start to come to you. And then the manifestation is happening. And barring and that's, plants to yeah. see. Yeah, that's really important because also um, in the Wealth Rising program, we've been um, talking about manifestation and goal setting and creation. So um, very important to know. And, and folks, you know, everything we teach also in the, free, in the free courses and online is about Dr. Pillai's um, manifestation technique in terms of really immersing yourself in it. So it sounds like this star is a perfect time to be manifesting, to be using those techniques to immerse ourselves in what it is we want to create. So she's going to help us do that, right? And yes. And not only is Venus the ruler of that, but also it's in Aries. And the ruler of Aries is Mars. So Mars is the energy that brings that which is inside, which, you know, we've all come here with a purpose. And it's very deep within us. It's our soul's purpose. And Mars brings that purpose up to the surface. And so it, and it will not, Mars is, is, will not be defeated. It will accomplish that. So you want to support that energy as well. So you, so Mars and Venus work well together. Mm, okay. So very action, taking action, strength, courage, that type of thing, coupled yeah. with the and it, Venus. And it also brings another, like why sometimes, why, and when you look at a chart, Mars is also considered the mother, not just the moon. So it's uh, mm -hmm. so there's the, that that protective energy, and um, and bringing forth more you know bringing forth your manifestation into physical reality. It's that energy to um, push it forward. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah, it's a very powerful. This is not a yeah. It's it's one of the you know it gives the extreme of Aries nature. It it, mm -hmm. it, it uh, provides that uh, quality. Yeah. Uh, okay, great. So what, anything else about uh, Barney that we should know? It's, um, no, we can, we can move on. That's good. Okay. I mean, we will, we'll overload. Yeah, there's a, okay, there's perfect. Each, each That's chapter we can have a look. We can move on. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah. Let's move on. Next star. Uh, yeah. Next star is Curvo Foguni. And that's, uh, that falls in Leo. It's center of Leo. And it's actually the nakshatra. It's kind of the um, after you fought a battle, or if you just whenever you've done a, anything where you just push yourself to the extreme, and then you're just you're you're dead tired, and you fall asleep, and you're just and then what happens is you've accomplished a great goal, and then when you wake up, you're kind of feeling you're relieved because you've done something. It's, it's a, and then you start thinking about your next like what it is you're like. So it's a very creative nakshatra. And actually one of the symbols of it, it is the, um, it connects with the Shiva, it's the Shiva Lingam. Mm. So there's a strong connection to Shiva on this, but it's, um, so with, but it's also the bed. It's like the front of a bed is the, uh, is the perfect Pogini. So it's, it, there is just, you're relaxing, but it's, it's the relaxing of, from total exhaustion. You've exerted yourself completely now and you're recovering. But a lot of artists, a lot of um, movie stars and uh, actors, it's it's a very, um, it, it, it gives the, the, um, the charisma to Leo, the, mm. the ability to, it likes to be out on stage. It's kind of like celebrating its success. It's like, hey, we've just done something. So it's, there is a celebratory aspect to it. But, it, but it's very creative. It's actually uh, one of the nakshatras you look for if you want to have, um, have a baby. It's like, oh, this is the one. Do it on this. There's a lot of life force in this, in this nakshatra. So it puts the, um, the life force into your manifestation, bringing it forward. So, okay. Fantastic. Yeah. And it has the king energy. Mm -hmm. It's a royal energy is in, in Kurbogini. So it's very powerful. Okay. Great. So it sounds... Yeah. Uh, I feel like we have a well-rounded, okay. <laughs> well-rounded, uh, anything else on? Uh, it's not, not right now, but that okay. was, yeah, but that's, yeah, that's it. You want, so, but of course it is ruled by Venus. So mm -hmm. there's Lakshmi is there and it is, um, and it is Leo. So it's ruled by the sun. So that's also, there's a very, so you can, you connect with the sun energy as well at that time. Okay. Perfect. Yeah.
Thanks. Okay. Next star. Next, the, and the final uh, the Lakshmi uh, Venus star. It's not the final Lakshmi star, but it's the final Venus star is uh, Purva, um, Purva Shadow. Mm-hmm. And this is also a, this is a very um, powerful nakshatra in terms of its like, it's called uh, victory over impossible odds. You just, um, you, there is this quality in uh, Purva Shadow that does not give up. And so you come in, you, now it can, now it has the, oh, the one thing with uh, Purva Falguni is often uh, abundance comes into your life easily. Manifestations come easily because it's just, mm-hmm. it's just there. Purva Shada, you have to um, work at a little bit. So mm-hmm. it's like, so you'll find there's some obstacles. It's also, it's Jupiter star. And so it's, it's in Jupiter sign of Sagittarius. So you'll find that it's a little more elevated, your manifestation, what you want to bring into the world. It, it, you want to affect the world. You want to have something that is a, a bigger, it's bigger than your own life. And so then the, there's these qualities that start to come forward with it. Mm-hmm. So it's a very, um, so Purva Shada is um, just, uh, yeah, it, it's when, when I, well, it's, the good news is you overcome uh, impossible odds. The bad news is sometimes you have impossible odds. You have to overcome. <laughs> you, have to, oh, you have to have overcome. Yeah. No, no, but that's the bad part. Yeah. Um, okay, fantastic. Yeah. Um, and then the there is one other nakshatra. Now there are billionaire nakshatras that are not there, and that is one is Anuradha, and that's Lakshmi's uh, star. So that's yeah. a that's a very powerful one. Also, uh, you know, and then you just kind of look at the uh, uh, Uttara Bhadrapada, and that's uh, that's uh, Bill Gates' star. That's one. Then Chitra and Vishaka. Vishaka is actually a um, you know, so these are Jupiter stars, but these are, so these are just, um, we just recognize them. So yeah, these are, these are them. And they're, they're connected specifically with specific stars. So mm-hmm. that's like more in your chart. You look and you see like, where is your, where is your um, moon exactly connected to the nakshatra? Because it's in four different padas. Each mm-hmm. one, that's what I forgot to mention. Each nakshatra is made up of four padas. So a nakshatra is 13 degrees. 20 minutes, and then each one is um, broken into three degrees, 40 minutes. And so, and then that has a different connection. So when you find out yours, you can find out like, oh, I'm, you know, this is, uh, this is what I need to work with. And these are the energies that um, can help me manifest. Right. And be in line with what you want to manifest. Right. Um, and just so you folks know at home, I didn't know about Pada's till like 10 years in after studying with Dr. Play. So we're not going to really yeah, go there. You don't need don't to worry about it. Like I said, there's but a lot of information. When you start doing more research, yeah. it's, a, it's, a great, <clears throat> it's a great path to keep going because it tells you more about yourself, basically. Yeah. Now, um, the, <clears throat> now I, did, so, I did want to mention one, this is the, like a little refer, referral back to our other time is why you want to know your sign specifically. So if you don't right. mind, I'll... So yeah. for you, okay, so you were born, um, um, I don't know if you know it, but you were born in the Jupiter form. So on, on your, so that's part of the panchan. You say, what, what is the horse? So you were born Jupiter. So Jupiter is a, a good, good planet, is a good, you know, that's like, oh, that's, that's nice. So, but if you were born on a Friday, mm-hmm. so that's a, and it was, um, and, but you, but your son was uh, in the like first degree of Sag. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's a Sacratini. That's called, that's actually called an affliction to your sun sign. And since you were born on a Friday, you need to do pujas to Lakshmi. You, so you need to make amends to Lakshmi. So there was some kind of a, so when you find out like, oh, so I mean, now I found, um, and, but you were born on an Akadeshi. Mm-hmm. That's a, uh, that's powerful. So that's also um, your, you, you know, just you need to connect with uh, Vishnu and Lakshmi too. Uh, so either you or someone in your family line uh, uh, acquired the displeasure of Lakshmi. So this is, and that's showing up on a Friday. Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> so there are, so, so, so these are things that are individual. So there's the big picture. Yes, you definitely want to do puja and you want to chant Shreem Brzee 
But if you have an affliction to your chart, then uh, you want to correct that energy mm -hmm. with that with that god or goddess or planet. Mm -hmm. Each of the planets, the planets can make you very wealthy. But if there's an affliction there, then you, you that needs to be corrected as well. Right. And that's a little too much, you know. But that can be seen in the chart. Yeah. That, thank you for that. So, folks, for the, how this works for you at home is basically <clears throat> what Roger just did was kind of give an example of my, my my birth information and how it would affect me personally. And so, the importance here is for you to understand that about yourself. And um, please don't ask any of the moderators <laughs> or the people yeah, in the chat about you. your personal yeah. chart. We're not going to go there but you should get an astrology reading and that would help you better understand the dynamics of what you're up against when you do your personal practice, when you connect with beings, which one is more accessible to you, which one is not. So just to keep it, um, keep it understandable for everyone, that's really the key is that um, getting your own, your own astrology chart read by an astrologer helps us to really deepen our understanding of what works for us easily, what doesn't work for us quite so easily and what we need to do about it. So let's roll back to our three stars, um, Raja, and what people should do during them. Other than, I mean, I can give the real general of do your stream breezy practice. Uh, yeah. So is there anything that you would um, like to add there? Oh, that's that's what I, I, I do my stream breezy practice with them and what I do but, but more specifically is I really excuse me focus on my manifestation what I want to manifest and that's the that that's our job is to have a manifestation and uh now I I don't know if you've experienced this but I've had things that I thought I wanted to manifest and then <laughs> as I got into it I was like oh this isn't really what I wanted mm -hmm. and so that's okay that's that's okay to change your mind. So, but what? But I never would have known that if I hadn't committed to it. Mm -hmm. Now, what I find with people who have come, you know, who who come in, they have a strong Lakshmi energy. They don't make that mistake. <laughs> they, they know what they want, and they they already have that focus, and so they they just go for that. And then, uh, but we're always we're always growing. So it's not even that you make a mistake with a manifestation, you get to a certain stage in life and you've done it. And then uh, we naturally need to keep growing. So for somebody getting a house is a huge manifestation. But right. once you've had a house and, you know, and that's, that becomes easy for you, it's, you know, you don't, you know, what wakes you up and gets you want, really wanting to, what gets you, your juices going. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's where you want, um, that's where you want to tune into Lakshmi. It is interesting to me that it's, it goes from Mars to Sun to Jupiter mm. with the Venus. Now, Mars gives you the energy to bring things forward. Sun is just kind of, is this, gives you a steadiness. Sun gives, it, it creates a steady, it's always there. You can count on the sun. Jupiter in our life gives us the, uh, makes us want to have a beautiful life. And it gives us the intelligence to do the things that we need to do to protect it and to, and to really live, to be really engaged in this world. So the manifestation is not about running from this world. It's not about becoming, you know, uh, 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 becoming a recluse or, or becoming an ascetic. It is about fully immersing yourself in this world mm -hmm. and, and doing it not, not in the, not indulging in it, but just like it, it makes you grow, it makes you stronger and it makes you more conscious. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fantastic, thank you. Okay, sure. okay cool, so, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> so to recap, um, we have the three stars, Barney, which you mentioned, and then you just, you just also gave us a, a recap of the um, other influences that those stars have, such as um, Barney is, going to be good for your stream Brzee practice. It's also going to be really good for manifesting and driving things forward. So when you find the star in Barney, that is a really good time 
to be driving your, um, your goals forward, taking action, implementing things that you've been wanting to implement, correct? So it's, yeah, it is the, it's a good time to start a manifestation. Okay, good. It has Thanks. that starting energy. Yeah. Right, perfect. Yeah. Right. And then Port of Talguni, again, it's a good time to do your Shreem Brzee practice. It's also a good time to kind of steady out. It sounds like steady out what your it's, your yeah, to really yeah to get, a, would be. get into a steady pace to really you know just to refocus and just get clarified, get clarity on what it is you want. Mm -hmm. It's also a good time to enjoy life, correct? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Yes, <laughs> I forget about that one, but yes, <laughs> it's a very enjoyable party it, star. As it is. Uh, Volley, let us know in the chat. Yeah, <laughs> it is, yeah, it, it enjoys life. It mm -hmm. brings, it is, people who are purple Fulguni, they are the life of the party. So if you're throwing a party, invite people who have purple Fulguni moons. They know <laughs> Yeah. Great. And Purva Ashana. Okay, so we're, again, I'm going to do our stream receive practice. Yeah. And we have the influence of more um, kind of expansion and abundance, but it may come up against some some um, challenges in overcoming to accomplishing our goals. What is particularly should they do on Parva Shada? Well, as you focus on your manifestation, you, you know, see what, what, what are the obstacles that are, are blocking it and that this is the time to just smash them, to break mm -hmm. through them. Or if, sometimes if the obstacle is big, is you know, go around. It's, mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's a, it's, it's right. basically, and actually that is one of uh, Purva Shada's symbols is it's water. It goes around things. It just, you know, but it's hard to defeat water because it just goes around, goes over, goes under, and it just is going to make this happen. Mm -hmm. So you, you, so you're just redoubling up and, um, and what it is, you know, you're bringing it to, and it is actually, it is this, uh, a nakshatra of victory. So it is the victory of bringing your manifestation into the physical. Fantastic. Okay, yeah. great. Um, I hope that gives everyone a snapshot of these three birth stars or otherwise known as nakshatras and what to, oops, can I be heard? Yeah, I can be heard. Um, and what to do on each of them. Primarily, if the only thing you remember out of this is that there's these three stars and it's a really powerful time to chant Shreem Brzee and do your practice, that's great. Uh, and if you can take it a little uh, step deeper in terms of what the qualities are for those stars, remembering it on those particular days, tapping into that particular energy for each of these three stars, then that is um, really taking your practice to the next level. And that is wonderful as well. Yeah. And I'd also add that it's the three stars. They, they, they occur three times a month. Each, each one occurs once a month. Each next okay. chapter appears once a month. And uh, it comes in as waxing or waning. Mm -hmm. And so when the moon is waxing, it's a good time to be bringing your, uh, your manifestation into the physical. And when it's waning, it's a good time to get rid of anything that's blocking. Mm -hmm. So that's a- Great, a yeah. Very, and that's so in general, good. folks, when it's waning and waxing, that's, a, that's the perfect time yeah. too. And also, but don't forget Fridays, is you know, connect with Stream Breezy and every Venus war you can connect with um, to Lakshmi with Stream Breezy. So yeah. you don't have to wait for these three days in the month. Oh, of course. Yeah. We already covered that last one. So hopefully okay. they remember that. <laughs> but yeah, so we're adding on our power times. Um, yeah. And um, Fridays, every Friday ruled by Venus, the hour of the day that's ruled by Venus, and then these three stars that are that is ruled by Venus. And, um, and remembering that it's when the moon passes through these stars that we get the influence on them and the moon is connected to the mind. And so then we have more um, mental and emotional connection to these stars during that time. So that's important as well. Now, how do we find these? Okay, great. You know of them. Now, how do I implement this in my life? So folks, there are uh, several ways. Um, I have, I'll send you, I'll show you my favorites. It's the horror watch. So you go to um, your Apple or Android or Google stores, and you get the Horror Watch Pro, <clears throat> and you enter your information, and then you're able to see um, when the star is. And this is the best and easiest way. I check it every day, and this way you know when the star is, and it also tells you when the next one is. You can also select the day, the calendar day, and know when tomorrow's is. So. 
um, we actually selected this topic because tomorrow is Anurata, which is, um, you mentioned it's Lakshmi's star. We didn't cover it in detail today, but um, because it's also a power time for Lakshmi, we wanted to cover the topics now. The second, so horror watch, your best, let it be your best friend, <laughs> it is mine. Um, so the next way to find it is to go to astroved.com and I'm going to share my screen real quick to show people how they can do this. So once you get to astrovet.com, <clears throat> you wanna scroll down a little bit and then it'll say today's Pantang and Nakshatra. Guess what we just covered, the Nakshatra. And it even has a tab here that says star of the day. Can't get more convenient than that. And gives you the qualities, the symbol, the ruling planet, the strengths, the weaknesses. And this helps you in general learn about the star. And, um, and then you're able to uh, implement what we just, what we just mentioned. Um, again, you can put your day of the week in and then update this and then find out what the star is for tomorrow and the next day and the next day. So option number two. Then there is the option of the AstroVet calendar, which is being, uh, it's going to be coming out very soon in terms of uh, you can order it and then get it uh, sent to you at home. It's my second best friend because it sits on my wall in front of my um, desk every single day and I look at it every day. So this really helps you look at the month in advance. And that's how I chart out where these times are and I circle them and I do some work on my, my personal calendar to um, kind of give some preparation. So it's the moon phases and all of that. So um, those are the three main ways that you can find it. Um, so when you go to, yeah, so this is important. When you go to Astrobed, make sure your location is set. And um, share my screen one more time just to make sure that is really clear because we want you to be able to find this information. So we're back at Astrobed and your location, you have to put it in here, okay? And then, then you'll be able to get the inform, all this information will come and be updated. It'll even tell you the hora, the hour. So right now, um, if my location is correct, I'm, we are in Mercury Hora. And I'm not sure if it is because I haven't, I don't check, I don't check this as often. It, we started in Venus Hora, it is now Mercury. Okay, great. So, so that is, yep, it's, a, it's aligning with my, <laughs> my Hora watch. So that's it, are there, and so now I'm gonna go over to questions on the chat. So folks, now is your time to ask. I know you've been asking questions all along and we've had some really great moderators, including Bali, who have been um, helping out along the way. My question to Raja and Gina, do we chant Shreemurzi on Venus Hora or throughout the day on the days ruled by these three stars? Uh, the answer is yes, always chant Shreemurzi. So that's my, my default is uh, when in doubt chant. Um, but to, to really answer you, uh, do we chant Shreemurzi on Venus Hora or throughout the day on those, rule, those days ruled by these three stars? The energy is encompassed for the entire period of the star. Now, the star may be um, during a full day, like morning to evening, but also may break in the middle and, and they'll transition some time during the day. So you wanna be aware of when this time starts and stops for the stars. And for that period of time, for as long as you can, you wanna be able to connect with Shreem Brzee, with Lakshmi, with manifesting your goals. Now, of course, it's ideal to do it as much as you possibly can, but we do it when we can. We try to remember, we set alarms. Those are all tools and techniques that we can use to help us um, further our practice. So um, Venus Hora, during those stars, is an even more powerful time. So oftentimes we overlap power times. 
So for example, there's an incredibly powerful full moon coming up on November, I think it's third. It's a fr- so it's a Friday. We know that Fridays are ruled by Venus and it's a full moon, which is the most abundant time for the goddess. And the star is Barney. So again, we're having the Venus influence and it just so happens that we are going to be doing a fire lab here in San Diego during Venus Hora. And you're all invited to attend. <laughs> so that is happening um, in a couple weeks on the full moon. So that's an example of layering on the, the times. And then when you're kind of drilling down into that most potent, potent, powerful time where the goddess is more accessible. So that's definitely a time to come with a, a new manifestation. Okay, you can, great. You can empower your a current manifestation, but if you're if there's something you want to start, that's a great time to start. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Um, okay, any other questions? I'm able to look at chat now, so go ahead and post them there. No questions, you guys are all. <laughs> Do we chant on Anurata and Uttara Bhadrapada stars, star days when Vena, during Venus Hora? Um, so we didn't get into those stars in depth and we're not going to in this webinar just to keep us more focused, but Anuradha is a Lakshmi star. So yes, you can chant during that star as well. Yes, sorry, Vali, I mentioned that I'm talking about where, um, where I am, <laughs> it's all about me, uh, and where we're gonna be performing the fire lab on Friday. But if you're in the US, um, and depending on where, those, those overlaps are, are happening. So people are asking for consultations. Yes, we're actually gonna be putting um, several of the astrologers on Palai Center for, um, astro, for um, astro coaching, astrological coaching. And there are also, uh, uh, there are also astrologers on AstroVed, and Vali, who's in our moderator, is one of them. And um, you can uh, sign up for a consultation at any time. Hi, do you recommend that we do any special kind of chanting when the star of the day is in our particular birth star? So that's off topic. I don't know if you want to answer. Let me let's see if there's first any other on topic. Nope, there aren't. So do you want to answer that, Raja? Uh, well, it's, it's a, you personally want to connect with Lakshmi. We all do. So on your birth star, you definitely can chant Shrimbrizi. Now, you, there may be other mantras that you can chant, but it's a great time to chant Shrimbrizi. It's always good to connect with, uh, with uh, Goddess Lakshmi. And that's one of the things. So you just keep... Um, keep connecting so it's it's an imprinting your you you want to st- you we want to vibrate with this stream breezy energy yeah this, uh, so that's so on your birth star it's affecting you even more deeply uh, yeah. for you personally so definitely chant stream breezy one of my favorite quotes of dr plies is go on chanting <laughs> he just, and you can just hear his voice because he said it so much yeah. go on it's, chanting <laughs> it's actually a it's a gift to be able to chant. Mm-hmm. It's you. I mean, there were there was times when I, I was chanting like a, a mantra a thousand and eight times, and I thought like, oh, yeah, this is. And then uh, then comes a time where you're like, oh, that having that time is difficult. It's like so keep you know make that as you chant more and more, then the 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 sound becomes. It's not just chanting. It's like also, your your mind changes. Mm. You start having new it because it's bringing new consciousness into your into your, into your awareness. Yeah. Great. So let's see. Um, we're not going to get into some of these other questions. We're going to stay more focused. Um, people are asking about Vishnu stars, Kubera stars, but um, we have plenty of time to do other webinars. I really just want to stay on this. Um, and then, so other, we're also, we're not going to, ha- we're not going to talk about people's individual charts. There's lots of stuff going on in the chat room. Um, so to wrap up, because I said we'd be a half hour, we're over that now. Um, recapping here is that there are these power times to connect with goddess Lakshmi. 
Shreem Burzi is the practice that you will want to do. These three stars, Barani, uh, Purvavalguni, and Purva Ashada are the stars that are ruled by Venus. And during those times, it's more potent for you to be connecting with her. And uh, you can find them through the Hora Watch, through astrobed.com in the Panchong section, star of the day, or through the Astrobed calendar, which will be made available very soon. Um, as for consultations, soon we will have the Astro Coaching on Ply Center. And in the meantime, there are some astrologers on astrobed.com live astrology consultations that you can get your reading with. And um, Vali is on there. And uh, I don't think you're on there, right, Raja? No. Not okay. yet. You're going to be on Ply Center soon, though. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and, and then, as I mentioned, the layers of the of the power times that occur, and we will be performing a fire lab to Shreem Brzee, to Lakshmi, on the full moon that is happening on November 3rd, Friday. So, and it's gonna, and, and I was mentioning the location is in San Diego, because that's where the, the ritual, the ceremony is going to be performed, and that is where you key into the power of that um, that ceremony. It's, it's where it's, it's where it's located. Uh, it'll be live streamed via Zoom, so you can watch it. Uh, it'll be performed by most likely myself. So speaking English, guiding you through prayers, and really deepening your connection with Lakshmi. That's the goal. That's the goal on that day. So if you're interested, we'll we'll send you the link to sign up for that as well. Um, and that is all we have for today. Raja, did you want to conclude with anything? Oh, just, um, you know, you know uh, everybody's, you know, Stream Breezy also brings in a lot of positivity. And so if you're finding during the day you're, you go negative, you can start chanting Stream Breezy. It's mm -hmm. very powerful. It's, it's very interesting how strongly the planets can influence you. So you're, you're, it will completely change your mind. So you might be walking around being positive. Yes, this is going to happen. And then all of a sudden you find yourself like, why, why do I ever try? It's not happening. You know, da, da, da. And you just check. That's when you check the horror. You go like, oh, this, um, you know, it's turned into this horror. And it's like, oh, so, and then you'll notice if you do, if you keep checking horror watch, you'll notice that a certain planet will tend to make us negative and some and others will be more positive. When you go negative, uh, chant one is chant the Hora mantra for the planet, but then the tree breezy is very powerful to bring you positive. It is, we are in a time where the Saturn right now is, is about to switch to Sagittarius. So this is a time of a lot of, uh, a lot of turmoil. Mm -hmm. So just, just breathe. Let things happen. You know, it, Saturn will become a much better influence uh, once he moves in. He's not happy in Scorpio. So Saturn is really hard on cer certain people. If that happens, you have personal planets there, you know, or your moon or something like that. That would be a very difficult time. As it goes into Sagittarius, things are going to get better. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you for that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> Great. So thank you all for joining us. And sorry, I'm multitasking here. Uh, thank you all for joining us and stay tuned. We will have at least two more in our series and they will be announced soon. And we are going to, going to continue to help you understand the astrology of Shreem Brzee. Until then, go on chanting. Namaste. Namaste. We'll talk to you soon. Thank mm -hmm. you.